So we back with another video. Today we got y'all boys with the best Faye animations in the game, shot tree animations in the game, I guess Tyceno animation. I don't know what you want to call it. Dribble pull-ups, hop jumpers, spin jumpers. All that is going to be in this video. Now I'm going to give you guys some extra little tidbits just to help y'all boys get as much as possible for your bag. But if I give you something, you feel like the video is already long, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. So if you don't need a step back, you don't need it. But so that you don't have to go to a dribble video, you can get everything for shot creators in this one video. But yeah, motion style even gonna be in this video. Everything that you need and more. So yeah, if you guys do want more videos like this, make sure to like the video. Subscribe if you're new without further ado. No more talking. Let's hop into it. Alright, next is going to be the best fade animation. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think that this one is a little bit more of a shakeup Because I really honestly think that Kobe was the best fade all year. Um, Pro 2 was in that same realm. I like Michael Jordan a lot from last year. But D-Book, in my opinion, is the best fade in the game right now. I really do like it. I was messing around with it when I was testing out the jumper and the bases and releases for the new D-Book stuff. Yeah, I really do like D-Book. It really is smooth. It's actually faster than Kobe. So that may be like a little muscle memory thing that I had with Kobe. I may got to get some clicked in. But I will be honest. It seems like it's going to be easy to get open off of because it is faster. And it is a little bit smoother as well. It's like some. It was some animation with Kobe where that was kind of annoying. I ain't going to lie. I don't really seem like no annoying animation when it comes to the pull up, the fade, the, the little gather fade. I think all of it's tough. All of it's tough. All of it's tough. All right. Next is the spin jumper spin jumper you gonna go with normal or pro um that's just kind of what it is i'm gonna be honest now if you can get d book you're a guard for sure put that on um but i think if you're a guard De'Aaron fox is the best one that's just me now um i guess since we kind of gotta talk about bigs i guess i gotta say dirt new whiskey but dirt new whiskey kd if you're starter three you don't really get that much options, bro. I'm going to be honest. You just, that's simple. Y'all don't really get that much options. Next is the hop jumpers. Um, I'm going to go over Biggs first. Biggs, y'all got a lot. Y'all got the y'all got the KD. Y'all got the Dirt and the Whiskey, which is really good. Y'all got the Yoki, that's really good. So those are really good. Um, When it comes to swings, I'm going to be using um D-Book. I'm going to be using D-Book pretty much this season. But you still got the ones that was good before, like the Harrison Barnes, like the... I liked... Paul George, I like Highland Hero. Tyrese, I really didn't mess with, to be honest. I'm going to keep it a bean. But for the most part, those are the ones I liked. Glenn Robinson is actually not bad either. Um, but if you're a guard, you probably, not even probably, you still have the best one. Um, I've been saying this since the game dropped. Davion Mitchell is the best one in the game. It's not really any. If you are a guard, you shouldn't be putting on anything else. Like, if you got the spin jumper, like, and you're a guard, you're putting on De'Aaron De Fox. Your hop jumper, you're putting on Davion Mitchell. That's just my opinion. I'm gonna be honest. All right, next is the step back. All right, you so you got really John Wall, Chris Paul. Those are really really good. I think D Book is actually solid, but I don't think it's in the argument for either one of these two. I think John Wall is the best one though, personally, for me. If you think it's anything else, put on what you rather. Like put on what you know. We in season five, but if you really trying to try something new and you haven't tried John Wall, that's the best one. Um, now, I, let me let me preference this. If you're a small guard, Curry is the best one. I ain't gonna lie. Curry Curry is pretty solid. But I would say John Wall may even be better than Curry because the hot back. But if you do want to do like the pullback, Curry may have a better pullback than, than John Wall. I'm not even gonna cap. All right, next is the triple threat style. Now, when it comes to the triple threat style, this can be any way. Did, like, I don't know why they made Michael Jordan a, a starter three animation. That is insane. But... Devin Booker, Kobe Bryant, Stephen Curry, those are the three um, I'm going to be using. I may even move more to D-Book. At one point, I was using Kobe. I got off of it. I don't know what the hell y'all was talking about. Curry clears, in my opinion. But it's not bad, but like Curry is just far better. But D-Book, I think, I think that's going to be one I like. All right, next is Post Fade. I think a lot more people are going to be using these Post animations this year. Post is overpowered this year. And with the mini being what it is, come on. Post fade, um, I think I think the best post fades personally is like the Kobe, the uh, the Jordan. Um, that's ones I would use. Some people may use even Dirk. 
I would probably use Kobe or Jordan. That's just really what it is. Jokic one is actually pretty solid as well. I'm not going to lie. Um, but I, DeMar DeRozan actually has a really good one as well. Um, but yeah, those are the ones I personally recommend for the post fade. I have Pro 2 on, but that's just because I just don't use post to be real on this build. But yeah. Next is the hook. Um, the best hooks, you got Vucevic and B Kareem. Those are the only ones you even need to worry about. You're toxic as hell. I don't even want to talk too much about this. You want to be toxic with these joints, go crazy. They're really good this year. Again, they uh, patched them at point, one point, and then they buffed them again because apparently close shots needed to be buffed. They kind of got messed up when they nerfed post six, apparently. That's what Mike Wayne said. And they buffed them again. And now they're still they're back to being overpowered again. They're not unguardable because defense in this game is really good. Don't let anybody on this game on this game tell you that defense is not good. There's more to defense this year than just pressing X, even though everybody wants to do that. But yeah. Next is the post hop shot. Uh you got Kobe, you got the Dirk. Those are the two I would personally recommend. Nothing else you really even need to think about. Nothing else you even need to look at. Nothing else you need to even talk about all right next is gonna be the motion styles now um the motion styles that i know and that i use if you're a guard stephen curry if you're a swing you're using apparently drew eubanks is a lot of people commenting i use dennis rodman but a lot of people be commenting drew eubanks and if you're a big i use justice winslow those are the motion styles i'm using if you guys think there's anything better than that Put in the comments down below because I'm always like using some of these because I'm going to be honest. Like I've all I've, I've, I've been trying to test them out like some of the lockdowns like the OGs, um, even the Kawhis. Like sometimes it can be a little stiff if you have a little bit lower, like not the craziest high defensive ratings. Like when I'm on my lock, I can get away with having like weaker motion styles. But um, don't go out there with, with some stuff with the wrong motion style trying to test out stuff. That's what I learned. And yeah, it, it, it's like some of these are like way more stiff on defense and stuff like that. It's really what I'm trying to say. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video today. We gave y'all a lot. We gave y'all post motion styles. We gave y'all the step back, the triple threat. You know what I'm saying? We gave y'all everything you needed more to be a shot creator. Kobe guys that want to have the post and the fade. The guys that just want the fade. The guy that just want to do a spin jumper. The guys that don't even do fades. Don't even do spin jumpers. Just want to do hop jumpers. We gave you forever however you want to play as a shot creator everything you need and more if you guys do want more like this though just make sure to like the video make sure to subscribe if you're new if you guys do want more gameplay in videos like this when i get y'all just animation i'm gonna try to get y'all more gameplay like i got a lot of testing series coming and a lot of those testing series don't have gameplay i just recorded one the other day we we'll have to give y'all at least three games in the video and let's just say, playing with randoms is not fun. So if y'all do want all these videos and more, just make sure to like the video, show the support, subscribe, turn on post notifications. First of all, the videos after you do all that. Without further ado, man, it's your boy Fist. I'm out there, man. All of my friends are dead. Leave them in the cold, put them in the tundra. I go right, child, I cannot see her. I make a fumble. I was just in Texas with Aaliyah up in the jungle. Tell them to bring me my money. Yeah!